Hi, I'm Vicki Ruffing, nurse educator at the Johns Hopkins Arthritis Center. Today I'm going to talk to you about using injectable methotrexate. Some physicians may choose injectable methotrexate if there is a problem with side effects from the by mouth version of methotrexate. The first thing you will do is gather all of your supplies. You will need a clean workspace, alcohol wipes or rubbing alcohol in a cotton ball, a container to dispose of your syringe, your syringe, and your methotrexate. Okay. First I'm going to review the parts of the syringe. Your syringe will be prescribed to you like your methotrexate. Generally it's going to be a small syringe. One syringe will hold one cc or one-fifth of a teaspoon of fluid. The syringe is marked with numbers 0 0.1 through 1.0. These numbers will correlate with how much methotrexate you will be giving yourself. Your prescription will tell you how much. This is called the plunger of the syringe. This is the barrel of the syringe. And this part is the needle. This, the cap is still on. The first thing you're going to do when you're ready to do your injection is to take your alcohol wipe or rubbing alcohol and cotton bottle and get that ready. Your methotrexate is going to come in a sealed container. This cap will just pop off and it's now ready for use. This has a rubber stopper in it. You will clean off that rubber stopper. Next, you're going to take your syringe. You're going to remove the cap. Your prescription will tell you how much methotrexate you need. What you will do is pull back on the plunger to the specified number. For example, if I'm going to take 0.5 cc's of methotrexate, I would pull my plunger back to where I see 0.5. Right now I just have air in here. I've pulled it back to 0.5. I inject the air into the methotrexate bottle. Turn the bottle upside down and withdraw the methotrexate till I reach that 0.5. Should I have an air bubble inside the, the syringe, I can just push the plunger back up to re release that air bubble and then pull back down again. Once I have the correct amount of fluid in the syringe, I can set that aside. The next thing I'm going to do is prepare my injection site. Ideally, a subcutaneous injection is an injection that goes into the layer of fat under that's be between the skin and the muscle. This is going to be our skin. We're going to clean off our skin. The areas that you would choose are going to be your abdomen. Stay at least an inch away from your belly button, please or the sides of your legs, along the thighs, or the backs of your arms. You want to clean that area off with your alcohol wipe or cotton ball with alcohol. Let that completely dry. Sometimes if the alcohol is wet, there can be some stinging once that needle pierces the skin and pushes a little wet alcohol underneath the skin. What you're going to do is we're going to pretend that this is my, my thigh. You're going to grab a hold of, of a piece of skin where it has been cleaned. You're going to hold your syringe, much like a dart, and when you enter the skin, you're going to go in quickly but firmly. Once you've entered the skin, you're going to depress the plunger evenly you can do it over about three seconds. Once that all the medication has gone in, 
you remove the syringe in exactly the same direction. The next thing you're going to do is proper disposal of your used syringe is going to be in a, in a sharps container. You can use a puncture proof container like a coffee can or um, milk jug, but these are easily available at any drugstore. The syringe should go in, into the proper container so that no one can get to that. That's all you need to know about injecting methotrexate.